Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapture, myself Vishal Bulbule and in this video we are going to see how we can use a Terraform to create a Google Cloud resources. So first we'll see what is Terraform. So in Terraform we'll see introduction to IAAC that is infrastructure as a code, then introduction to Terraform, what are Terraform provider and how we can set up Terraform with a command line utility. So first thing is why we need a Terraform, just take example where you are having one uh, dev project where you are deploying your cloud application and in that you might require your virtual, pri a virtual private cloud and your sub network and in that you will be having suppose just a 20 to 25 virtual machines so you will deploy your application you will test your application and after successful testing you want to migrate it to the production so how you will migrate that application with exact configuration are you going to create everything manually from the console again definitely not so here the infrastructure as a code comes in a picture so what is infrastructure as a code so infrastructure as a code nothing but the tool that allow you to manage your infrastructure configuration using the configuration file rather a graphical user in interface or a GUI so there are multiple tools uh, for this IAC like Ansible, Shape, Puppet, Terraform but for building a cloud resources terraform one is the most popular currently so we'll see how we can use terraform along with a google cloud so one thing terraform is not only used with the google cloud but it can be used with along with all other cloud providers like aws azure and other cloud providers so we'll be using it with a google cloud so in this demo i am going to use a cloud shell and I'm not going to install Terraform in my local system because I'm already having it my cloud shell and it is easiest way to use Terraform along with a Google Cloud so I will go to my cloud shell so cloud shell is opening now and cloud shell is available so our cloud shell will have uh, all important or necessary software already installed so suppose a Python so if I check Python version it will have python already installed if i check terraform the terraform will be already installed so we can use terraform directly in our a cloud shell so i'll create one a directory in my cloud shell called terraform and i'll go to terraform so this folder i will be using for my terraform configuration files so now i will open inbuilt editor in my cloud shell so on this button you can click open editor and it will take you to the cloud shell editor code editor yeah so from here i can open a folder so i can open folder terraform which i already recently created so i'll open a terraform and now i'll create a couple of files here which are required for my terraform execution so a best way of how terraform is their documentation so for doing anything we can follow their documentation so for this also i will follow a terraform documentation for google so i'll just simply type on google terraform google cloud provider and i'll follow the documentation which they have for creating resources and using terraform along with a google cloud so here currently there are no files in this folder so i'll create three files so first file i will create a provider.tf so i'll give the name so all terraform files having extension .tf so i will create provider.tf then i'll create one more file main.tf and i'll create one more file variable.tf so that is the standard uh, files we will be having in our terraform okay so now in provider.tf as we are using a terraform with a google cloud it can be used with amazon cloud or a, a azure cloud but terraform should know which cloud or which provider we are using or with which cloud you have to work with a terraform so that we can mention in provider so here once you start typing it will show you suggestion so i will use this provider and here you can simply mention google so that's it so we define provider google so we and we want to use a google provider with our a terraform so 
that part i mentioned in provider so here you can mention credential for your service account your project name but i'm using cloud shell so it is default using project and it is using my credentials so i will use now in main.tf i will take example of the diagram we have so suppose i want to create this vpc network sub network and i want to create a compute engine so that part will create using the terraform now so first i will create my network so how we can create network so we need to type resource google compute network and the block name we can give vpc network so this is a module name you can give anything but it should be unique in your terraform code and now name so what will be the name of my network so i just want to give vpc name as my terraform test okay so that would be sufficient to create my vpc network but i don't want to create atomic vpc which means it will create all the subnets in all the regions so i will use a default mode vpc for that we need to use a flag so flag will be auto create subnet so i'll create false so i don't want to create subnet in this block automatically i want to create it separately so i will use a auto create subnetwork as a false okay and i'll simply try to execute this code now so i will open a terminal i will open terminal and i'll try to run terraform init so there are three commands terraform init terraform plan and terraform apply which are most widely used with a terraform so terraform init will check what is the provider in our configuration file it will check it is a google provider then it will download all required plugins in the first execution so we'll see the logs once we start executing the terraform init so you could see it will check the latest version of provider google and it will install this plugin and if i do terraform init again it won't install it again and it created this a log file here so this log file will be created when you using the init for a first time okay so now if i try to create init again it will just reuse already installed terraform module suppose i will do terraform init it will say a reusing previous version okay now i will do terraform plan so your terraform plan nothing but the plan of your code so what your code will do after a successful execution so it will not exactly deploy it will just show you what changes will be happen to your google cloud once you execute or apply your code so i will just do a terraform plan and we creating one resource so it will show we are creating one resource vpc network name of the network will be terraform test auto creation subnet will be false so once i do terraform plan it will create it will ask for a confirmation now i will type yes and it will create a vpc network so i will open my project in another tab and i will see the logs so it should create quickly so it created a terraform test vpc network so let me validate that in vpc tab So here we should have a terraform test network yeah so we have terraform test network now we'll create one sub network and then we'll create one virtual machine so i'll go to editor again and i'll add so i'll just add a comment for better understanding so this is for our vpc network now i will create my sub network so here again i will use a resource So as you start typing it will suggest you so i will use google cloud subnetwork and 
the module name I can give as my subnetwork for US central one I'll just give the US one and now what are the parameters required here so I will just type name so all these things you can simply see here so suppose if you want to see what are the things required for creating subnetwork you can simply type subnetwork and you can go to this block it will give you the example and required parameters for creating a subnetwork so meanwhile this is loading i'll go and create my code so i'll give the name as subnet and one i'll just create and give the subnetwork hyphen one then this subnetwork should be created in which network so i want to give the network also and i can give a network name as a directly terraform test or i can give the name as a google compute network so what we are doing here so we are giving google compute network which is created in vpc network above module and a name so either we can give this or we can simply put in a double quote a name of the network again one required thing will us will having is the region name so i will use us central one region and then we have to give the cidr range so i will use a cidr range 10.16.10.0 so whatever a valid cidr range private cidr range we can give here now i will go and i will try to execute my code and see if it will create a subnetwork so i'll do terraform plan again and it is fine one resource is creating so i'll do terraform apply so it should create one subnetwork so currently you don't see any drop down here because there is no subnetwork let me refresh and you could see the subnetwork is created subnetwork one which we added in our terraform code is created okay now i want to create one virtual machine in this network and subnetwork so i'll simply go to the google compute instance documentation from terraform and i'll follow the code given in documentation so i may not be required all a code but i will simply use a, a required block from this code so i will copy this module as it is i will go to my code editor and i will just add here vm okay so this i don't need so i will be creating very basic vm so i'll remove unnecessary things and i'll keep only a required okay so i'll keep this image which is required zone machine type whatever required i'll keep and name i will just change to terraform test and here one more thing i need to mention is a subnetwork so now the network i can mention google compute network mentioned above name and subnetwork i can mention we already created in the same file so we can give the name or we can directly put a hard coded name in a double quote so all these details i have given and i'll try to create a virtual machine now using a terraform plan and apply okay i'll execute terraform plan now
so it should show one vm is getting created in plan and you could see one resource is added in plan yeah so i will just do a terraform apply now and we'll go to my so here i'll just do a go to vm instance and see my vm is getting created or i'll just go from here compute instance page so currently there is no virtual machine i will confirm this so it will execute my code okay i typed double s due to network lag let me do terraform apply again so currently here though no virtual machine i will just type yes and enter and let me see if it is creating a virtual machine here let me refresh you could see the log it is creating yeah and the vm is created we will see the logs yeah so one virtual machine is created so using our terraform code we created a uh, one network one sub network and one vm now just will replace few things and we can so suppose if we are giving a project name in our uh, resources so we can just use the same code to execute in another project so the same set of resource infrastructure will be created without any change or the same configuration so this way you can use a terraform using cloud chain and create a, a google cloud resources with a very simpler way so that's it for this video and thank you so much for watching the video.